What exactly has been agreed? So basically what this means is that the Europeans are going to be able to have a better idea about the goods that are flowing into Northern Ireland from Great Britain um, so that that gives them more confidence that the, the single market, which of course begins at the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, um, is, is, going to, is going to be properly controlled. That's been the, 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 the technical and political uh, problem for both sides to solve, which is one of the issues at the heart of this, this dispute over the Northern Ireland Protocol. So, Ben, how significant is this in the overall scheme of things? Well, I think that it, it, there, there are still a lot of significant issues to be resolved before, um, before, before the issue can be, can be laid to rest. However, um, it, I think it's significant because it shows a return of goodwill. It shows um, that the two sides can work together. Um, it shows progress for the first time in months. Um, and it shows that the, the, the arrival of Rishi Sunak after the, the brief and turbulent um, uh, premiership of, of Liz Truss and the longer and just as turbulent premiership of Boris Johnson, um, it's, it's like a new page in this relationship. And, and, and I think both sides are uh, committed to, to getting a deal done in the next in the next few months. But so, uh, Ben, what exactly, I mean, the underlying, why is there such goodwill, I guess, on both sides? Uh, the Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, was a Brexiteer right from the start. So is it to try and, and grow the UK, or do we understand their thinking in this? I think that Sunak, although he was a Brexiteer um, from, you know, before either Truss or Johnson, um, he was more of a kind of technocratic um, uh, vision on, on the issue. He's not been using Brexit in quite the same jingoistic fashion that, that, that Truss and particularly Johnson did. And I think that the, 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 the Europeans feel they can do business with him on that basis. Plus also we have the, the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement coming up in April which would, could possibly mean a visit by Joe Biden to, to both Dublin and Belfast, and the British want to make sure that there's going to be nothing to, um, to, to disrupt that.